In this video, we are going to talk about how to make effective notes from Norman Potter's Food Science. How are you doing today? Welcome back to the channel. It's awesome to see your smiling faces once again. This is Ari Birshad and you are watching Food Tech Simplified where I make simple and easy to understand lectures, videos and tutorials for the students of food science and technology. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon as well so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. And if you are thinking that why I chose Food Science by Norman Potter and this is because this book is a little bit challenging to decrypt. Uh, this, is, this is a little bit difficult to understand for the non-native speakers of English like me. So that's why I wanted to take up this challenge and I just wanted to use this book as a model to uh, take down notes. And the principles or the strategies that I am going to talk about in this video are going to apply to other books as well like Shakuntala Mani's Food Facts and Principles, uh, Frazier's Food Microbiology and Sukumar Day's Dairy Technology as well. And the tips and strategies that I'm going to talk about today will apply to any kind of examination, whether it is your end semester examination or your gate examination, any kind of competitive examination like ICR, net examination as well. So I have got you covered. Can you hear the rain drizzle? It's raining outside. All right, then let us begin. So first of all, you have to keep... <coughs> hey, bro, I just wanted your notes. Bro, can't you see I am making a video? Please, na bro. Please, please. Why don't you try and make your own notes? Are you made the notes, na. I will just take the pictures. Why I have to make the notes anyways? Well then, let me tell you why it is absolutely important to take your own notes. It is absolutely important to make your own notes. And why is that? Let me give you a few reasons. When you have studied a concept and now you are making notes from your own hands, you are writing the notes. So in that way, you will be able to retain the information, the concept in your memory for a longer duration of time. And also when the notes are in your own handwriting, it will be easier for you to memorize the notes. I have seen a lot of students who just study directly from a textbook like this. And I don't recommend that usually because, see, the textbooks like these have a lot of content. They have a lot of content which is irrelevant from the point of view, from the exam point of view. And I want you to study from the exam point of view so that I, I just want you to make the notes so that the notes are like the shorter version of textbook like this and so that you can memorize that faster so that you can uh, retain that information for a longer duration of time. That's why I recommend to take notes in your own handwriting so that's why I recommend to make your own notes. Understood that? Take it, take it. Now the number one point I want to talk about is actively take notes in the class. Now what does that mean? That means now you go to your faculty, whoever is the faculty assigned to you and ask the syllabus from that faculty and also ask them that what is going to be taught in the next lecture, read that topic, study that topic extensively and whenever you are attending the next lecture of that faculty and when the faculty is going to teach that concept, you will understand that concept in a much faster pace and that will separate you from the rest of the class. The second scenario that I have seen in the classrooms is that the faculty or the lecturer comes in and they just speak out, they just narrate all the content to the students and the students are, because the faculty is narrating the content in such a fast manner, they, the students just don't have enough time to process that, to understand what is being taught and they are just busy in writing down all the concepts one by one. Now since in that case you have not understood anything, then I recommend to get back to your room or get back to your hostel or your home and whatever place you live in and to once again go through that material so that you will be able to understand that so that you will be able to retain that and if you really have time which I think you should be having <laughs> I recommend to take down notes once again apart from the notes that you took in the classroom and another point that I want to emphasize over here is that the note taking is such an important thing for example let's just say that you are in BTEC first year or second year and you you are not taking notes and now you complete your BTEC and somehow you also uh, complete your MTEC and in the final year of MTEC you decide to give ICER 10th exam and you and you feel like that if you had taken notes in the second year or third year if you had taken proper notes then it would it would have been easier for you to study for the ICER net exam or maybe another exam that you want to give so if you want to avoid that regret, because regret is poison. So if you want to avoid that regret, start taking notes from now. So you can use some A4 sheets like these to take notes and 
In this case, just I want to give you an example that in this case, I just took notes on uh, the A4 sheets and what I did, I just sent it for spiral binding. So this is also a clean method for taking notes. And why I recommend A4 sheets so that uh, in a lot of time, a lot of cases, I just, you know, I just draw some tables or I, in some cases I am drawing not just tables, but I'm just, uh, just want to explore the creativity of myself. So I, uh, I have also drawn some diagrams as well. So the A4 sheets are like, you know, uh, kind of my go-to when I am preparing notes. So in this case, I have, as you have seen that I have just made some uh, tables and also the diagram as well. So I feel that the A4 sheets are very much comfortable for me. You can refer to the ruled sheets as well if you want. If you are not a fan of the A4 sheets, then you can refer to a register like this. Now this register is completely black and it is of A4 size so that, so you can also refer to this. And uh, there are also some registers available which have separate sections like in this case, they, this register has six separate sections. So you can also re uh, refer to register like this. I have seen a lot of students who just uh, use different type of colors and markers and sketch pens and everything. And you don't have to use all these kind of markers and colors. You just need uh, three or two different markers. So I use three different highlighters and I will just show you in a minute that why I use three different color highlighters. So in this particular case, I have used three different kind of markers. You can easily observe that I have used blue colored marker, I have used orange colored marker, and I have also used the fluorescent marker. Now, why is that? I use three different kind of markers so that it is easier for me to retain, so that it is easier for me to take notes. Now the blue color I use, I usually use the blue color for the facts or the statements. I use the orange color for the causes or the reasons. And I use the green or you can say the fluorescent color for the numerical facts because there are a lot of numerical facts in food technology. So I usually use these three different kind of highlighters for three different kind of purpose. And I don't recommend that you also have to use all these but this is just my method and I wanted to share it with you. This was it for today. Let me know down in the comments if you have any kind of doubts or queries and make sure you have given this video a big thumbs up and also share this video to those students who just ask for you the pictures of the notes or who just ask for you the notes so that they can also understand that what is the importance of note making. And make sure you have subscribed to the channel and hit the bell icon as well so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. I will see you next time. Class dismissed.